So as far as the tractor goes, uh, my plan to have the gearing with 90 degree uh, bevel gears here is a no-go. I don't think it's going to be able to handle the stress of turning these screws. So my new plan after a few weeks of research and tossing around some ideas, uh, I was going to buy some 90 degree gear boxes, uh, you know, actually store bought ones and uh, mount them in here with a chain driving them. But uh, the cheapest gearboxes I could find was still going to cost me about $600 for two of them with shipping and everything. And that's pretty much ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. So uh, the new plan is I'm going to actually take this transmission that you can see is mounted this way. And I'm going to tw uh, twist it inside the chassis. So uh, one of the axles will be coming out the back of the uh, tractor here. One will be coming out forward. Then I'm going to have to put a chain with a jack shaft to drive the second pod that way. Uh, that way I'm going to do away with all the 90 degree gearboxes. So I'm going to have to redo some of the stuff back here. A little bit of this is going to change and I'll show you once I uh, pull the diff out what exactly I'm talking about here. Yeah so here's the transmission out of the tractor. Uh, normally it'd be sitting in there such just like that. Uh, I've taken it out of this space here. Uh, so my plan, uh, instead of having the gearbox this way, uh, this is the input drive of the uh, transmission, which happens to be in the right direction. I'm going to spin this transmission this way, and I'm going to drive this with a shaft instead of a belt this way. There'll be a shaft going this way, up to the motor, maybe to that PTO up there. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. And then uh, I'll be able to drive the, the uh, tracks directly off of the uh, axle on each side. So somehow I'm going to have to get this mounted inside there uh, the wrong way. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so I uh, got the transmission turned here. Actually, it's looking really good. Like it's kind of like it's meant to be. Uh, so I'm going to be driving from this uh, axle down to this chain. Uh, you can see I've got some mounts, well the beginnings of some mounts made up. There's one mount there. Uh, I had to redo the shifter, it's going to be kind of beside the seat. So once the seat's here, I'll bend this into the right, uh, wherever I need to go for the shifting. Uh, it frees up a lot of space here, uh, so I'm going to be able to get rid of all this crap and redo that. And then if I ever do want to go with some bigger pods, I'll have that room for that. Uh, you can see, and hopefully, uh, the second axle in here. And I'm hoping actually maybe I'll run the chain right through here. Might have to widen this out a little bit, but other than that, I didn't have to really modify too much of the tractor, thankfully. So all I really did was cut this one hole, which is under the fender anyway. So uh, if this all goes bad, I can still put it back to the tractor. Uh, but uh, yeah, it fits in there perfectly. So this is a look underneath. Uh, so this will be the uh, axle for the left side, there'll be a chain coming this way, and this is going to be my new input here, uh, three quarter inch shaft, so I'll have to put a U-joint on there, and then I'm going to either couple it up to that power takeoff up there, which you can see, which will be belt driven, or somehow redo the clutch system so it has a direct shaft back to there to drive. But uh, see one of my other mounts up in here. Uh, I'm still going to mount a little better than that, but uh, gives you an idea of what it's going to look like with the transmission turned. Uh, I'd have to say if this doesn't work that uh, I don't even know what to do next. Uh, I've pretty much gotten rid of all the weak points here, other than having to beef everything up, which I'm still going to do. But uh, these straight chains, uh, and then there's going to be a chain with a jack shaft running back here to this uh, screw. I don't know. I just don't see that breaking. If it does, then uh, maybe it's not meant to be, but uh, I've got some good progress here. I'm back on track. I'm not as broken and I uh, should be getting some more stuff done in the next week or two. Hopefully I'll be driving this thing soon.